Reverend Father Hoxon Ogaya, Parochial Vicar of St. Dominic de Guzman Cathedral, will now read the history of the Marian devotion here in our diocese. Historical vignettes on the image of Our Lady of the Good Harvest of the Bayombong Cathedral by Brother Kendrick Ivan B. Panganiban. The image of Our Lady of the Harvest of St. Dominic de Guzman Cathedral Parish in Bayombong, Neva Vizcaya is the Marian devotion promoted by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bayombong, officially through its diocesan launching on May 25, 2022. It is known that when the parish of St. Dominic de Guzman was erected by the missionary friars of the Order of Preachers or the Dominicans, the devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary as Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary has also been promoted. This is why during the foundation of Bayombong Parish, dedicated to the founder of the order in 1739, the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary introduced was that of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. This is proven on the trail of Dominican engineers, artists, and saints in the Cagayan Valley and Batanes by Dr. Florentino H. Hornedo, 2002, wherein photographs of the said original image are found. The photographs were taken in 1985 that showed that Virgin Mary sitting from the throne with clouds on her feet and with the child Jesus by her lap while holding a rosary. The account noted that this treasure of Bayombong Church was reported lost in a fire that burned the convent. However, besides this image, there is another of the same enthroned position which also became close to hearts of the faithful of Bayombong and the diocese. It was an image of the Virgin Mary brought by the priest missionaries of the Congregation of the Immaculate Heart of Mary or CICM who evangelized the province of Neva Vizcaya and other neighboring areas and mission territories since their arrival in 1908. Their contribution to Bayombong is noteworthy as they built Catholic schools and that the first bishop of Bayombong, the Most Reverend Albert Van Overbeck, 1915 to 1987, was from the said congregation. Among the renowned CICM missionaries who were assigned in the area were the brother priests John and Maurice Wagener, who introduced some devotional figures in churches in the diocese. One of these is the Nuestra Señora de la Leche y Buena Parto, Our Lady of Milk and Good Birth, now enshrined at St. Joseph Parish in Aritao. In Bayombong, they had sculpted a replica of an old statue that is a pilgrimage site in their diocese of or or origin, Diocese of Liege in Belgium. Our Lady with the Apple represents the new Eve who gives God's gift to Jesus. The Apple was in the Middle Ages a symbol of wisdom from God. The bunch of grapes is the abundance of grapes. The image had become a silent witness to the development of the Diocese of Bayombong as it became a territorial prelature on November 7, 1996, oops, 1966, and its elevation as a diocese on November 15, 1982,
comprised of the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya and Quirino. Her image is much venerated as the people of Bayombong show love for the Blessed Virgin Mary. During the incumbency of the third bishop of Bayombong, Most Reverend Jose Elmer I. Mangalinao Didi, there began an impetus in order to formally introduce a Marian devotion that is embraced by all the faithful in the diocese, as both the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya and Quirino were agricultural by industry. The thought of incorporating this feature was part of the decision taken to rename the image with the fitting title, Our Lady of the Good Harvest. In Ilocano, it would be known as Ina Tinawadwat Nga Apit. The bishop assigned the rector of the cathedral, Reverend Father Keson A. Wan, and Bayombong resident Deacon Irwin R. Bautista to spearhead the diocesan initiative. The incorporation of present-day valued items would be discussed with the introduction of the new Marian title to the Diocese of Wembong and the Cathedral community. Upon discussion with the sculptor Ian Vicente, inspiration was taken from the older image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary through the addition of, of an estofado design on the dress and its usefulness in vesting by improving areas in the image upon which a dress could be placed. Further, the fruits held by the image were changed into a perante orange and corn, crops that are very abundant in the region and are familiar to the people, coinciding with the thought of a harvest. The festivities in her honor shall be separated, celebrated on May, as this speaks of the harvest season during the summertime in the Philippines. Further, church tradition also tell, tells us that the month of May is also among the months dedicated to the Blessed Mother. Please kneel for the prayer to the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Good Harvest. Dearest Virgin Mary, our Lady of the Good Harvest, of you, Christ our Lord was born, taking flesh as man, as good earth receives a seed, your womb received the seed of our salvation. Look kindly upon us today as we seek your intercession for a bountiful harvest for the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya and Querino. Keep our lands free from pestilence, flood, and drought. Increase our grains and livestock, that we may sustain ourselves and our fellow men. As we turn to you, O Mother of our diocese, bless our bishop and our priests that are their mission may be fruitful and pleasing to the eyes of the Father. We also, we also ask, ask that you flourish the seeds of vocation within the hearts of the faithful, faithful so that soon we may we reap an abundance of men and women who are willing to bring us closer to you and your Son. We also pray for our families, inspire them with your love, that it may strengthen the bond among its members. Keep them, them from, from any illness and harm, and, and bless them, them with an abundant spiritual, spiritual life. life. Lastly, we, we pray, pray for our own intentions. intentions. 
Increase our faith that by that following your example of service, of service we may, may reap the fruits of everlasting life. life. We entrust ourselves to you, O Mary, Mother of the Good Harvest. Intercede for us before Jesus Christ, your Son, who is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our Lady of the Good Harvest. Pray for us. Please stand.
Thank you.